So guys, in this video, we will be building this simple application that's running on my local host 3000. So here on the screen, if I refresh this application, you can see that this application is displaying some images on the screen. We can see four images and then there is a load more button at the bottom. So if I click on load more, so it's going to load more images and again, I'll be able to see the load more button. So as I keep clicking on load more, so the page is going to keep loading until it has loaded all the images that are available. So I can keep clicking on load more and it's going to keep loading the images until there are no further images to load. So now you can see that this page is very long actually, but when user visits this page, they are only able to see only four images, but they can keep scrolling down if they want to see more content on the page. So this is a feature that we are going to learn in this video, like how to build a load more button and how to actually make it work. Let's say that if I'm loading all the images all at once on the page, the speed of the page is going to be very slow. So that page is going to load very slowly for the user and this is not a very good user experience. So that's the reason we build this kind of feature where we try to load the minimal amount of data on the screen very quickly and then let the user scroll through the page and load more data if they want to see more on the application. So I have another fresh React application that's running on my local host 3001. So this is where we are going to replicate this project from scratch. So stay tuned till the end of the video and now let's go to the Visual Studio Code and start coding this application from scratch. So as to start building this application, I'm going to remove all the default code that we have here in the React app. So let's remove all this and save it and go back to the browser. So everything is working fine. The application is blank now and we are going to build it from scratch. So to build this application, we are going to use this project as a reference. So I have this project running on localhost 3000. So we will try and replicate this project into our new React application. So in this project, I am using some of the components from Material UI. For example, this button I'm using from Material UI. And to create a grid layout with two images in a row, I'm using a grid component. And I'm also using some card components to display these images in a card. You can see that this image has a little bit of shadow around it. So this effect is created with the help of material UI component that is a card component. So I'll go to the browser and search for material UI install command into my browser. So here on the first link, I should be able to find the command to install material UI. So I'm going to copy that, go back to the Visual Studio code and install material UI in this application and hit enter. So now material UI has been installed in this application. I'm going to make some imports from material UI, the components that I'm going to need to build this application. So the components that we are going to import is we are going to need a button, the load more button that we have seen in the original project. And we are also going to need a grid component to create a layout with two images in a row. I'm going to be using a grid component from material UI. And then we are also going to need the card component and card media. So with the help of these two components, card and card media, I'm going to build this part, a card with the image in it. So that's all the imports we are going to need from material UI. And we are also going to need some URL of the images to display on the screen. So I do have a sample data that is just the URL of the images that we are going to display in this application. So I'm just going to copy my sample data here. So this data is basically an array with the URL of all the images that we are going to display in this project. So if you want to use the same data, you can check in my GitHub repo for which I'm going to be leaving a link in the description. So that's the data we are going to use in this application. So it's basically all the URL of the images. So now let's create one state variable in this application. And this state variable is going to be the images. And I'm going to create set images with the help of use state. And let's give it an initial value of an empty array. Now what I'll do is I'll be using a use effect in this application. So with the help of use effect, I'm going to create a logic that as soon as my application is going to load, I'm going to set my images variable that I've just created to data and I have all the data here that is an array of images. So as soon as the application is going to load, this is going to set the images to data. So here in the application, I'm going to map over my images. Let's map over the images and go to each and every image and return. So in the return, I'm just going to return a grid and this grid component is coming from material UI, which we have already imported. 
and this grid is going to be the container grid and this container grid is going to contain uh, another grid which is basically the item grid and inside this grid I am going to display my image with the help of card component and this card component is going to have a card media now in this card media we do have to pass the URL of the image so let's go to the material UI documentation and see how to use this card media component here so in the browser if I go to my material UI documentation in the components so I should be able to find the card component here if I scroll a little bit so here I should be able to find a card component where we can display the image within the card. So let's click on show code. We can see that how card media is being used here. So I'm going to copy this chunk of code from here and inside the card I'm just going to display my image with this card media component. Let's change the height to 300 pixels and this image is basically going to be the image variable. That's coming from our array of images so basically we are looping over the images array and going to each and every image and displaying it with the help of grid and inside the grid there is a card and there is a card media and here is the URL of the image so let's save it and see on the screen so here on the screen we can see that the images are being displayed but they are being displayed not in the right format so we want the images to display in a grid with the two images in a row so that's uh, something I'm going to fix in my grid layout. So if we look at this grid item here, so in this grid item, I should be able to mention how many columns I need in a single row. So here in the single row, I'm going to need two columns to display two images. So by default in this grid component, this entire space on the screen in one single row is treated as 12. So if we do 12 by two, because we are going to need two columns. So I'm going to pass a six here. And if I do that, so still we are not able to fix the layout and we are going to fix that. So we see that this image is displaying on the 50% of the area here. That is 6 and the total area of the row is 12 by default. That's how this grid component works in Material UI. But for this second image to move here in the second column, we have to make some changes in the code here. So we are looping over the images array and displaying all these components here. But this time we are going to move this grid out of this array so the container grid is going to be outside the array that we are looping here so basically we have a div tag here and then we have a grid container so inside the grid container we have a lot of grid items that are being displayed and every item inside the container is taking 50 percent of the space in a row and this should be able to fix all the problems that we have on the screen so now you can see that all the images are displaying one after another in a single row and in every row there are two columns so if we scroll down we are able to display all the images that we have in the array but now we actually do not want to display all the images all at once we want to display four images on the screen and then we want to display a load more button here at the bottom and let the user load more images if they want to so to build this feature i'm going to actually create a button at the bottom that is going to be a load more button after this grid so let's go back so here is my grid container and it's ending here so after this grid container i'm going to place a button and this button is going to be load more button so here on the button i'm going to say my variant is going to be contained and i'm going to give a background color to this button i want to make the background color to black so let's give some margins also because it needs some margin from this grid so i'm going to give margin as one person now let's save it and go back to the screen so here after the grid I'm able to see my load more button here but as of now we see that all the images are loading on the screen and load more button is really not doing anything whereas if you see in the original project we see that there are only four images loading and load more button is actually loading more images so that's the feature we are going to replicate in this application we are going to make some more changes to the code let's go back to the code and here in my application I'm going to create another state variable that is images per page and I'm going to create set images per page and I'm going to initialize this with a number that is four because I want to actually display only four images per page in the beginning when my first page is loading on the screen so I'm also going to create a, another variable that is page and set 
page and initialize this page with the one because initially uh, the page that is going to load on the screen is the first page so we have defined how many images we want to show on the screen with this variable and we have also defined what is the default page when user loads the page for the first time on the screen and it's going to be page one so let's see what's happening in our use effect so here in the use effect we can see that as soon as the page is loading we are setting the images to data and the data is having all the images that are here in this array. So I'm going to make some changes in this use effect and I'm not going to set the images to data because if I set the images to data, all the images are showing on the screen all at once. So I'm going to make some change in this logic here. So I'm going to say set my images to data dot slice. I'm basically slicing this area from zero to page into images per page. So basically we are slicing this array starting from zero to until page into images per size. By default when user loads the first page, so page is going to be one and images per size is four, will be slicing from zero to four and we should be able to see only four images on the screen at the start. And I'm also going to say that run this use effect every time my page is changing. So if my page is one, this array is going to be sliced from zero to four because if page is one, images per size is four. So this becomes four. And if my page is two, so in that case, this array is going to be sliced from zero to eight. If page is two, this is four. So this becomes eight. So basically, if user is looking at page two, they should be able to see eight images on the screen. If user is looking at page one, they should be able to see only four images on the screen. But by default, the value of page is one here. So let's save it and see what's happening now. So here on the screen, we can see that only four images are visible on the screen. So this is good. At least we are not loading all the images at once on the screen. But now if I still click on load more, nothing is happening. It's not loading my second page here. For this button to work, we have to put some event listener here. So when I click on this button, it loads my page two. And if it will load my page two, I should be able to see eight images on the screen. So I'm going to make some changes again in the code. I'll go back to my load more button. So let's go to the load more button here. So on this button, I'm going to say if somebody clicks on this button, I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to set page to page plus one. So if user is on page one and they click on load more button, so this function will get fired and it will set the page to two. And as soon as page will change, this use effect function will fire again and it will set the images from zero to eight. So that's how load more is going to work on the screen. Let's save it and check this logic. So if I go and refresh my application, by default, I'm only able to see four images here. If I click on load more, now I'm able to see eight images here. If I click on load more again, so now the page three is loaded and I'm able to see 12 images on page three. And if I click on load more again, so now I should be able to see 16 images on the screen. So that's how we can make our load more button work on our React applications. So if you found a value in this video and you have learned something good, you have learned a new feature that you can implement in your applications, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.